everyone, it's Blake, and this is uh, week six with ambiguity. Um, this week is all about document changes and struggles that you've faced so far in your transition. Um, documents uh, changes um, for changing your gender, uh, either changing your gender marker or your birth certificate um, in Florida. You have to have uh, a sex reassignment surgery, so either bottom or top. Um, it doesn't have to be both. Um, so yeah, that's that's the only way that you can change your gender in Florida. So far, I don't have the finances to get uh, either one of those sex reassignment surgeries, unfortunately. But um, so yeah, that hinders me from uh, changing my gender as of now. Um, I don't want to live in Florida e anyways. Uh, I really want to move. So as soon as I can get uh, stable and on my feet and get a job and I move from Florida, I think that's probably when I'm going to um, change uh, my documents as for my gender. Um, but yeah, also name change in Florida. You have to go through a court and file a case for um, changing your name and everything and that's really expensive and I don't have the money and I'm also living under my parents roof right now until I can move out and um, so right now I just I right now is not a good time for me to change my name or change my gender um, I just po I just physically can't at this point uh, as much as I'd like to change both but um, yeah so that's how it is in Florida and that's where I am with documents but Hopefully soon. So as for struggles that I've faced with my transition so far, um, one of them would have to be my best friend who has not put in as much effort as I'd hoped or hasn't been as supportive as I um, thought she might be. Um, I have no problem when people misgender me or, um, or accidentally call me the wrong pronouns. Or my birth name if they've known me for a long time especially but um, as long as it's an accident and as long as uh, you're actually really trying to call me the right pronouns and my right name um, I won't I won't be upset by that if it, if it slips with her um, don't think she's putting much effort into any of it or trying at all so you know when I see some when I have somebody Especially someone important like that who really doesn't seem to be putting much effort into it. That is uh, it's disheartening and it's upsetting. So that's one of the struggles I've had. Another struggle is family, of course. Um, um, I told my mom and um, I tried to bring it up to her again after the whole like coming out and everything. And uh, we ended up getting into an argument and about ever every time since I've tried to bring it up to her we get in arguments about it we fight um, she just doesn't understand she just doesn't um, she thinks that I should love myself on the outside and accept my gender and that I'm just creating more problems for myself um, but at the same time some days she'll be really great like she just helped me order my binder and then other days we'll just argue about it and it'll be a big misunderstanding and so yeah she me and my mom that's been a struggle my family um also not coming out to the rest of my family yet that's been a struggle um another struggle would be so far with school um just some of my classes not feeling completely uh comfortable with being oh, with uh with my pronouns and like my name my chosen name um that's another struggle uh let's see also more dysphoria ever since i've uh identified as male now e even more dysphoria even before i identified as trans or male um i've, I've just gotten more just more aware self-conscious of like like my body parts and everything and like I've always been like dysphoric about my chest always but now it's even worse than other parts too um so yeah that's those are some of the struggles that I've faced in my transition so far I'm sure I'm gonna face more but um you know I'll get through them as they come 
Anyways, guys, that uh, covers all the topics for this week. I really hope you have a great Thursday and a Friday and the rest of the weekend. Um, so, yeah, make sure you watch the rest of the guys' um, uh, the videos and see, you know, how it is in the states they live and their documents and everything. Just make sure you check out the other guys because everyone's really informative and great. Um, also, if you needed anything... Uh, message me on tumblr ask me on tumblr i always put it in the description along with ambiguities tumblr blog um if you would like to ask us questions to cover in our upcoming videos do that too but yeah uh like i said everyone have a great rest of the week and weekend and i'll see you next thursday